Hello! Let's upscale some more vegetables with our Palm Wonderful Asian Cauliflower Bites. So, we're starting with cauliflower today, but we certainly can add in other kinds of vegetables. I think um, eggplant works great as well. So, this combination pulls together a sweet hoisin sauce with some pomegranate juice, oven roasting cauliflower, um, and then uh, some fun garnishes. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our sauce. This is a great thing to make ahead of time, um, and then you have it ready to go when you're ready to eat. So we're gonna start with um, four tablespoons of our palm, wonderful, 100% pomegranate juice. We're gonna add in some tamari, couple cloves of chopped garlic, a fun little kitchen hack, we're gonna add in some, some uh, grated ginger, is use a microplane, put a, a single layer of kitchen strength, like professional strength, um, plastic wrap on top of it, and then um, you just simply grate right on top. And it just creates this fabulous grated ginger without any of the pithy part of the ginger. And we'll just tap that right on in the pan. Beautiful. I'm gonna add um, two teaspoons of sesame oil. Just a splash of sriracha. Again, depending on how spicy you wanna make it, it's up to you. I'm just gonna put just a couple little tiny drops. And then I need four tablespoons of hoisin. And then a touch of cornstarch. Whisk that together. Now, we're gonna set this aside um, and use this as a glaze for first with our cauliflower, and then we're gonna put this on the stove. So, we have our cauliflower that's all cut up in little tiny florets. Be conscious, especially when you're making something like this, that it's actually a bite that you can eat, and it's not such a big chunk, because somebody has to use a fork and knife. I think I find that this is um, a lot easier for our customers to eat. So we're gonna toss our cauliflower in there. We're gonna add just a little bit of our glaze. Now I preheated my oven to 425 degrees, um, and I'm gonna do convection because I really want to get a nice crispy coating on this. Now, I think you saw me before where I tossed my vegetables in the air. I did that with oil, it works great. It, it uh, adheres to it, but for something like this, I'm just gonna toss it in my bowl. I have a sheet pan ready to go that I've sprayed um, that I put a piece of parchment paper down and I've sprayed with a little bit of Pam, Pam spray, uh, so that it, it uh, doesn't stick to it. Because remember, we're adding this glazed uh, cauliflower, so it's gonna get nicely, nicely caramelized. As we did with our other roasted vegetables, um, if we have too many, please don't hesitate to use a second sheet pan. You really want, and I'm gonna take a couple of these out because I really want them sitting by themselves so that they can get caramelized all the way around. This will be beautiful. A couple extra, so I'll get a second sheet pan for those extra cauliflowers. Just turning them over, because I want a flat side down so that can caramelize and then I'll, I'll rotate them. There we go, beautiful. Okay, let's get those in the oven. Super hot oven. Next, we're gonna put our um, pomegranate glaze, hoisin pomegranate glaze. We're gonna put this on the stove for just a couple minutes so that it lightly thickens. Now, I've already done this ahead of time for you. And you can see the beautiful thickness of the sauce. Perfect dip, dipping sauce. See that? Oh, it's gonna be wonderful with so many different things. 
Now we're gonna check on our cauliflower because the magic of TV, um, it's gonna pop right out of the oven. We have some beautiful, beautifully browned cauliflower. Nice caramel caramelization. We'll arrange this on our platter. Beautiful. Now comes the fun part. There's a nice brown one right there. Let's use that. I'm going to use my cut glove for my garnishes. I'm going to do some green onion, some aerials, and some sesame seeds. So I like using the green parts of the green onion. We'll just do these on a nice bias cut. So I'll add some Nice little crunch, along with, of course, all the deliciousness of green onions. Let's put those on top. Let's grab a couple of our aerials. Don't be skimpy. These aerials are delicious. And then finally, some toasted sesame seeds. Take the time to toast your sesame seeds. Super easy. Um, put your sesame seeds in a saute pan. I like to bring it up to high. Never leave the stove. I stand in front of the stove, bring my pan up to high, then I drop it way down to low, and I just stand there and I shake, shake, shake for about a minute or two, and I have beautiful sesame seeds that are nicely toasted. Let's sprinkle a few on. And there we have it, our California bite, our cauliflower bites with our palm, wonderful, 100% pomegranate juice um, hoisin sauce. Enjoy.